Hello everyone and welcome to another Poppy Greybeard horror game. This one's called The Hospital. Or in the words of my cousin, The Hospital. The Hospital. This game is about something scary in a hospital. Not sure exactly what it is, but we're going to figure it all out together. With that said, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell. That way you know when my videos go live for you. If you're interested in playing this game, all the information will be down in the description below. So feel free to check it out. If you want to watch all, uh, if you enjoy, uh, you want to watch all my other videos, make sure you check out uh, youtube.com slash poppygraybeard. If you want to check out my other channel at youtube.com slash at poppygraybeardretro, where I play old school and retro games. And if you want to watch me live, watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash poppygraybeard. Without further ado, let's get into this and let's get comfortable. Let's have a little sippity sip of water. It's a little sippity sip, not too much. And let's go for it. New game. It's like a big fart. Best, best experience with headphones. That's what he says. All right, adjust brightness using the bar above until you can barely see the word cr crux on the door. Okay. Okay. Okay, like right there. All right. I'll go a little bit brighter because, you know, I'm blind. Oh, look at my toesies. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority that get only mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country. As the pandemic wrecks, wreaks, wreaks or wrecks, wreaks, wrecks wreaks havoc close enough it's a pandemonium it's a, it's a pandemonium out there so many sick so many dying I feel like I've become a number a, stati a statistic struggling but you know what we got we'll get them. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition gets worse, got worse, intubate. I'm about to Google that. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've really, I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now, can barely breathe. Get it. I'm going night night. Please cover my toes. I'm getting cold. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. That's like a question. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint. Walk around using the WASD keys, look with your mouse, observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. Hint! The game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Interesting. But it's so dark. Okay, hospital bed. My bed! It looks like it was originally made. When did I get off of it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too as if the room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Interesting. Chairs. Chairs for visitors. 
except being in quarantine, which is spelled wrong. See? See? Quarantine and no visitors. TV? TV. All the TV ever played was news about the pandemic, about the daily death toll and the crashing economy. I told the nurse to turn it off and take the remote away. Watching TV as I willed, wild, 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 away, willowed, 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 away. Those endless hours struggling to breathe only made everything seem worse. I think it's willowed. Willard. Willard. Close enough. Okay. Okay, it's a baby bed. Medical device. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal bleeding, beeping. The hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. Bathroom door. The bathroom door appears to be locked. What if I gotta pee and poop? Cut on the lights. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Not a fan of that. Not a fan! I'm not. Maybe a doctor, I need to find out what's going on. Alright. Outside of my, okay, we're outside of my room. Where's everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Not today, baby. Not today. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs besides these doors. Cardiology obstetrics, radiology, etc. Why are the windows opaque? Opaque? Opaque. Opaque? Opaque. We'll stick with that. I can't see a thing through them. No, they are opaque. Opaque? Whatever the hell it is. Okay, I can't run. Oh, it's a green light over there. Okay. Okay, this is where you are. Right? Type shit. Okay. Okay. Nurse's station. When I checked in here struggling to breathe, there were two harried, harried, but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. That's cool. Hey, hey. That's cool. Let's see. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Damn. Should I be dressing all sexy and shit? That's what scared me the most. Girl! Locked. That's odd. It's an explanation for everything. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I've seen room numbers when I checked in. Okay. Oh my god, those cracked. That's a crack door. That's a crack door. Oh. oh my god. Okay. Cool. Why are the lights so dim? Is the door? No? Every room is locked. Oh my god, the door is open a little bit too. Oh my god, it's locked. I turn these down, I can't. Okay. Oh. Hey. 
Anybody there? Ooh. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? They got to be someone. There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. What's going on? Just like that. Just need to ask. What? Someone on the other side of this door. Why am I gonna open it? Why am I gonna open it? Should I open it? Oh my god. Here we go. Hello? Somebody peed on the bed. This room looks like, looks just like the one I was in. Not with the pee stain. I mean, you know, but it's a mess. Damn right, it's a mess. You got doo doo and whatever you left on there. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. How awful, there's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't clean after the last patient. <laughs> I thought I said the farted, but I said the party. That figure. I'm telling you, cause she was fine. That sound came from out there. Bathroom's locked. I gotta pee. I gotta pee, bro. There doesn't seem to any any power running into it either. Wow. Hey. The figure I saw on the TV, it reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must, imagine, I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what the, this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so now it's just over there. So now we're walking this way. Interesting. When I wake up, I'm gonna be like, it was all a dream. Okay. All right. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. Got the goosies. All right. All right. Hi, hello. Is anybody there? Anybody? Oh, it's a creepy. The way the door sounds. <laughs> All right, so she came through here, right? We saw her. Check door number one. It's locked. Oh. Oh, is he footsies? Are those footsies? Oh. Should I look? Sir? Come on. How rude. How rude. Okay. What's the next? I just wanted to cover their feet. That was all. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. That's a 
figure. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? She was fine. Saw her walking. She had that walk. That's what it was like. Get a girl. Hey, 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 hey. Get a girl. You know? That light turned off and that one turned on. Sweet! She said raid, right? Like the spray? That's what I think she said. And she went, raid. Right? Maybe there's roaches and shit. Maybe she, maybe she thinks I'm the roach guy. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. He said, where we? There's more than one. Everything except, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. All right, here we go. Ray. Girl. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Hurry. It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. There's been two presidents since then. Nia? Naya. That's Naya. Uh, that's Nia. It's not Nia. That's Nia. Because I know from, from wrestling, Nia Jax, it was spelled like that. So it's Nia. Right. Nia, is that you? This isn't real. I'm dreaming. Oh, I get to pick. Nia, is that you? This is real. I'm dreaming. Okay. Nia, is that you? Oh. That familiar silence. You know, when they get quiet, that's when you know they're mad. Lesson learned, guys. Guys, lesson learned. When you say, girl, is that you? And she doesn't say a word, that's because she's mad at you. Give it time. She'll come around. And y'all can continue, you know, eating wings and, and watching the movie. Netflix and chill, but you probably won't chill. It'll probably just be Netflix. But you know what? At least you'll talk. All right? Remember I said that. All right. This is some monstrous... This is some monstrous dream memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me the doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since could I have saved her life could I have saved her life had I done things differently and at what cost I could have saved you Naya I'm sorry for what happened, Naya. I could have saved you, Naya. Oh, oh shit. Only cold silence. That's because she's not over it yet. She's still upset. I don't know if the wings didn't come out the way she wanted them. I don't know if she wanted lemon pepper instead of honey barbecue or vice versa. But you messed up somewhere. So next time you write it down, take notes, that way you don't get her the wrong wings. She probably wanted all flats and you got her all drums. You know, you gotta think. All right, what does she want? I already explained what she wanted. Fuck. She had fangs. Naya. Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? Can I walk to the table now? There we go. Oh, it's a photo. 
Naya? I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach after just after yet another bitter fight. So I guess they'd be fighting and shit. She was just 24. But by then, she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding, brooding, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my eyebrows, as I said, eyebrows, with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her, <clears throat> I tried to get her to get help she refused. Self-explanatory. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. I'll do it. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched like a chilling grin. Whatever that means. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, oh, okay, are we done here? Okay, it's too dark. Am I back in the hospital? What is this place? messed up hospital but that's where we're at all right girl doors are always locked doors are always locked <gasps> there's a body right there look there's a body right there what are we gonna do <gasps> Oh. The door's locked. Hey, are you alive? Oh, please don't jump at me. Please don't jump at me. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. And I am. Oh. Oh, okay. That door's locked. Okay. But something doesn't look right. Okay. Doesn't budge. Try it again. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, I just, I gotta check my pants. I'll be right back. She is doing this. I don't know how. She is toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Okay. All right. Raid. Raid? Okay, focus. Focus. Okay, this is another corpse. What's in here? It's a dead body in there. Okay, here's another dead body. So this one's almost completely dead. This one said, Whoa, them feet stinky! Okay. Alright, continue, continue. I feel like I go that way, but I don't want to. Stop rattling stuff. I don't like that. Girl, you like that? You like that? Okay. 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 How's this door? Hi. Oh. Oh. See, like straight into the sky. <gasps> Doors locked. All right. 
Oh my god. Look at her. Naya? On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Nailed it. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grab, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. Okay. That's the room she went into, but do I, do I go in there? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, there she is. There she is. Naya. Oh, God. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me that you wrote, I don't know, your last words. <laughs> I'm all emotions. You gonna laugh at me? That's some shit. What do you want from me, Naya? I did what I could. Why are you torturing, tormenting me? I saw that way now, so focus. Okay, doors open. Nothing in there. Oh. oh my god. Oh, there she is! I can't move. Naya? <laughs> I said it right when I wrote it. See? Meant to be. This time is meant to be. Here we go. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? That's because she's way over there. I just want to make sure she could hear me because I don't have to repeat myself, you know? All right, here we go. I think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. Oh, okay, you look close enough. You wrote, I'm never gonna let you go. Without you, something in my life forever. In the time and then you go to go. Hold up in the door, baby. Right? You know what song that is? If you don't know, if you know the name of that song, put it in the description below. I mean, put it in the in the comments because I have no idea. I just know I felt it. I felt by reading that I felt it, so I was trying to sing it. All right, continue. Continue. Alright. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? I gotta, I gotta add to it now. That if I've done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? I'm good. I'm good. Man, she could run fast. You saw that shit? Girl, you know what I would do? I would put her ass in the damn Olympics. We could totally get that fucking 100 meter dash gold. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in my room. No, he said, I, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Naya? I'm back in the room, but not in the bed again. Right? The bed I was lying on, fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well? Or am I still trapped in this nightmare? I don't know, it's on TV. Nothing? What about these chairs? Nothing? Alright. Alright, can I check the bathroom? Nothing? Naya? Oh! Do I dare go out there? What would I find? A bustling, bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home. Or shadowy halls haunted by my past. <clears throat> Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream, born of guilty, born. 
or am I dead? And is this my afterlife? These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. The end. <laughs> I guess, I guess she thought it was funny. All right. That is the end of the hospital. It was fun. A couple of jump scares, it got me. It got me a little bit, not too much, but like, you know, like that, you know, it's cool. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button. That way you know when my videos go live for you. You can check out all my videos at youtube.com slash poppygraybeard. <clears throat> you can check out also my other videos on my other YouTube channel at youtube.com slash at poppygraybeardretro. And if you want to watch me live, watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash poppygraybeardretro. This game was called The Hospital. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching, kids. For our newest video, click here.